Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to City Life. It is the morning of day four. Last night I had a few skill points. I put one of them into salvage operations, which unlocks the wrench recipe. And then I went ahead and crafted us a level two wrench. And with these other two points, I'm going to go into Pummel Pete level two and Parkour level one. All right, now I would love to craft a level three baseball bat, but we need 40 pieces of forged iron, which I don't have. Shit, I don't even have the wood I need. Even if I wanted to craft a level three wood club, I don't have the wood. I don't have any. I used it all, putting the rest of these bars around this center structure here and upgrading them as much as I could. Uh, in terms of the iron, though, I do have iron in the forge and uh, also some ready to smelt down. I just don't have any fuel. Well, 18 seconds worth of fuel. I guess we can turn it on, but we're gonna need more than that to get this forged iron crafted. So that's what we need to do this morning is get wood. And I wanna make sure I have wood every morning. So we need to cut down trees that give us seeds. These trees, we cut down some of them in the last episode and they don't give us seeds. We need to cut those trees down. Get some maple seeds and then we can plant them around the tower here. I don't think so, you little fucker. Oh, I hear more footsteps. Here we go. And it starts. Oh, she's feral. Come here, lady. Boom! Holy shit. Didn't even knock her down. Now she's down. Not dead yet, though. Get out of the way. Oh, come on. All right, shit. Do we always have to start our mornings like this? It's supposed to be nice and peaceful. Hey, you think there's a book in that mailbox? I bet you there is. Of course there is. A ranger's guide. Let's see what we got here. Arrow recovery. We remove 20% more arrows or bolts from our enemies. Uh, let's chop this tree down right here. This one won't give us seeds, but we got to get it out of the way so we can plant a new tree here. Plus, this will give us the wood we need to go ahead and get that level 3 wooden club crafted. We can get rid of this level 2. Let's take the mod out of that, scrap it, put it in the level 3. Bring that down. All right. Let's go get some seeds. Huh? There's Big Boy's gas pressure relief valve going off. You're a rude motherfucker, you know that big boy? Oh shit, slow down, Kenny. Kenny's hopped up this morning. Kenny's like Popeye, but instead of spinach, it's meth. Ah, poor Kenny. He's like, I am what I am. We know, Kenny. We fucking know. All right, that should be enough. We got some corn here. We might as well grab it in case we do start a little garden. We can always eat it if we don't. The only reason I wouldn't start a little garden is because to do it right, we're gonna have to spend a lot of skill points and there is definitely a lot of other skill trees I would rather go into than like living off the land, but we'll see. I still might. Oh, I love the smell of dead chicken in the morning. And napalm. Well, we might as well check this POI out. This is definitely a new addition here. We haven't explored it yet. This must all be connected, I'm assuming. What do we have here? Oh, I can't see. Let's get up here, maybe? Ah, it's just dirt. Let's harvest this body. Oh, hey, buddy, you the foreman around here? You must be, because you ain't doing any work. Uh, I used to tell foreman jokes all the time, but none of them ever worked. Get it? Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh. I guess we're clear. Oh, pistol schematic. That's not bad. 
We need pistol parts, though, to craft one. A pistol would be nice, because we've got a bunch of 9mm ammo. Hey, morning coffee. And a glass jar. And there's a zombie outside. Let's go deal with it. Hey, Kenny. Goodbye, Kenny. Man, we need to find the traitor. That would help us out a bunch. Oh, get the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, I guess we're going down here. Locked and loaded. All right. Going up this ladder. Oh, hey, buddy. Can you hold this for me? Uh, here another zombie. Hopefully it doesn't come creeping up behind us. Look at this crazy shit. Oh, here we go. Took his arm off. Oh, boy. Where's that coming from? Not down there. He's dead. Oh. There it is. On the other side of this wall here. Um. Well, let's just... Let's just press on, then. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Two of them. Dead. And now that zombie is at this wall here. Let's just keep going up. Okay, I guess we're going out this way. Got some trash. Scrap the brass and the lead. Oh, we got something down here. Let's go check it out. Oh, zombie in the corner. Looks like a little control room. We got a nurse beating on the gate right here. He's dead. Is this anything? No, I don't think so. Well, not much going on down here. Oh, got a bunch of hatches over here. That's interesting. Got a zombie behind the door? No? Uh, yeah, I'll take the sand and the rotten flesh. Eventually, we gotta get a mixer put down and start making some concrete. Empty cans and more sand. Let's make sure we're reloaded here. And, uh, I guess we're going this way. Close that door. Close that door. Oh! Hey, buddy. That hatch is locked. I'm assuming all of them are locked. Let's go this way. Locked. Locked. Oh, boy. Uh, jump! Nice. <laughs> all right, that's locked, too. Oh, there's a button there, though. Oh. Oh, look at that. Shit, that was easy. This was not a bad little grab this morning. Let's put this uh, Iron Breaker mod on our pickaxe. Oh, tech book, shotgun turret schematic. Uh, AP robotic turret ammo, we'll read that. And we'll read the shotgun turret schematic as well. Uh, we can't put this impact bracing mod on our cowboy boots, right? No, we gotta put that on armor. All right, that was pretty good. Um, I guess we're going back this way. Uh, we can make this jump. We already did once. Why can't we do it again? Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, hey there, chicken. Get over here. <laughs> it was worth it. Not really. That sucked. We bro just broke a leg. 
Oh, fuck. All right, we'll harvest this chicken. We'll wobble our ass back home. We'll sustain some life. I, I know I have at least a couple of splints in storage. So we'll use a splint. And then uh, we'll get that baseball bat crafted. Here we go, 40 pieces of forged iron. We also need some duct tape and leather, and we already have our wood. Let's go ahead and get this baseball bat crafted. Man, three and a half minutes? Damn. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's go venture back out. I want to go check out this subway system and see what that's all about. Oh, good lord, that woman's fast. There we go, a little more meat, a little more feathers, that's good. We'll make some more iron arrows later. A little sand. Is this a plug? Oh, it might be. Nope. Alright, that looks, looks clear so far. Nothing behind those posters. Let's go down the center here. Whee, yay. That's fun. All right, I'm going to try and be sneaky because our bat is still about a minute out. Oh, those are just dead bodies. Oh, here we go. Um. Oh, scrap the nails, take the flesh. Let's uh, just shoot him. Is this glass? I hope not. Nope, nice. Close that door. Oh, get out of here with that. Oh, he's going to blow. All right, then. Fuck it, do it. And he didn't wake anyone else up. Nice. That's what I was worried about. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, there's our bat. Let's put the chain mod into it. Nice. Now, at least we got a melee weapon. I'm still going to try and be sneaky here. Ooh, that's cool. It is fucking cool as shit down here, isn't it? Reminds me of, like the Matrix for some reason. Got some zombies down by the tracks. Okay, we got a good amount of zombies around. Let's see what we can do here. Whoops. Okay, they're all sleeping still. Dead. Got a crawler. Dead. Mose up. Dropped him. Dead. All right, we're on a roll. Nice. All right, we'll backtrack and check all that shit and harvest those dead bodies once we uh, clear out these fuckers. Nice. We are fucking shit up down here. Goddamn ninja Glock. What is going on in that hole? Oh, here we go. Wasn't slick enough. That's all right. Oh, she's mad. She is mad. <laughs> Nothing in here. Nothing there. Got an arrow and a vending machine. That doesn't work. Let's take this bad boy apart. There's the loot. Nice. Look at me being responsible, making sure we're loaded before we press on. Oh, it's a, it's a new day. It's a new Glock. Not really. This is the stash room, and it appears to be clear. All right, then. There's a light over there. That's probably the way out. That's what it looks like.
Got a shotgun choke schematic and a hunting knife schematic. Wrench schematic figures. We know it because we put a point into salvage operations and the vehicle off-road schematic and uh, oil shale that we don't need because we're in the desert. So once we get a chem station put down and we need oil shale, it's pretty much everywhere. All right, we loaded. We should be. Dead. I kind of like this being sneaky thing. Dead. Oh, we're unstoppable. Uh-oh. Waking more up. Hey, there's Skinny Pete in his natural form. Back crawling around looking like a spider monkey. Dead. Back the fuck up, dude. Dead. Oh, come on. Should have just kept whacking him with the club. Well, it sounds like we're going to have some trouble getting out of this hatch here. Oh, boy. Hopefully it's not a lot. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Oh, that was easy. Just one. Well, the sewers was pretty fun. I liked it down there. And look, we're home. How nice is that? Here we go. More arrowheads crafting in the forge. We'll get more arrows crafted later with the feathers we have. We'll maybe knock out some more steps later also. But right now, we're going to head upstairs and clear out the fourth floor. Let's go this way. Pop this door open. We'll take the stairwell up. Well, at least up to the third floor. Right? We'll pop the third floor door open. And then we'll go the normal way. Which is uh, through that bathroom by the third floor conference room. Remember, the, the ceiling is broken. And that is the way up to the fourth floor. We'll clear the fourth floor and that'll be it for today. And something I want to talk about. Um, I was completely wrong when it comes to land claim blocks. Not that they don't prevent zombie respawns because they absolutely 100% stop zombie respawns. Trust me, I've been playing this game a fucking lot and it's always worked for me. The one thing I was wrong about though is that it only stops zombie respawns within the bounding box. That's not true. Well, it's sort of true, sort of not true. It's true when you think about it horizontally, but it's not true vertically. It does, according to the tests that I did, stop zombie spawns all the way down to bedrock and all the way up. It doesn't end. It goes all the way up to the fucking sky. So I thought that it, it ended at the bounding box height but it does not. I ran some tests. I cleared out the rooftop of the Higashi building. I put a land claim block down in the lobby. I waited a whole bunch of days. I let a whole bunch of time pass. I even backed out of the game and came back in and no zombie respawns throughout the entire building. So apparently it works and that's great fucking news because that means once we clear out this building, we won't get any more respawns with the one land claim block we've put down. We just got to make sure that land claim block doesn't go inactive because sometimes it does after about seven days and you got to put a new one down. Um, where are we going? This, this is not the way, right? This is going back to the beginning. No, we need to, we need to get to that conference room, which is this way. Yeah, this way. All right, here we go. Now, I don't ever remember my land claim block going inactive in a single player game, so that might just be a multiplayer thing. But if it does, we can just put another one down in the lobby. No reason to put one up here in the third floor, because like I said, it fucking works uh, all the way up. All right. Enough talk about the land claim block. That is definitely the most controversial fucking item in the game. Um, 
It's like nobody can agree on anything when it comes to the fucking land claim block. Can you wrench these boxes apart? Oh, you can. Paper, electrical parts, plastic parts. It's not bad. I'm gonna try and be sneaky again if I can. Got a zombie in that office over there. Let's check this corner first, though, before we go that way. Nothing. Oh, here we go. Nice. There's another one over there. Can't tell if we got one in this office or not. We do. That one's dead. Um, can't shoot through the glass, so I gotta get in there. Oh, got him. Good night. He's dead. Grab this chair. I'll grab the chairs that we can scrap, but I'm not really gonna be looting anything. I'm just looking to clear it out. Because once we clear it out, we know we can come back up here later on tonight or whatever and do all the looting and shit and not have to worry about zombies. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Didn't see this guy. Ah, uh, slow down. Oh, there's another one in there. Whoops, breaking the glass. Bop. Grab all these chairs. Grab all these out here, too. We'll check this vending machine. It's working. Okay, nothing I want to buy right now. If it wasn't working, I would have taken it apart. Some coffee. Oh, shit. Wasn't very slick there. These guys aren't feral, so... Not too worried about it. Oh, this guy's behind glass. We're gonna have to break it, which is probably gonna wake him up. Yep. Ooh, woke up some more. Damn. Oh, got a desk safe in here. We'll go ahead and crack into that now. Why not? Oh, bathroom? Look at this guy. He's got his own bathroom in his office. How nice is that? That's some boss shit right there. Night book. Uh, motion detection. We can... We don't need motion detectors. And a duck bill... Shotgun choke mod, we can throw that on our pipe shotgun, I guess. That will widen the pattern and also give us a little bit more damage as well. Oh, shit. Well. Wake up! <laughs> Smoked one of them. I don't know how many more are in there. Let's, let's see. Oh, fuck! God damn it, I looked down that hallway. I didn't see anyone. This guy snuck out of his cubicle. Shit! Dead. Let's check this vending machine. It is not working. Want to take that thing apart. Oh, we're waking more up now. All right, let's get down to the lobby. I've been hearing zombies down there, and hopefully it's not too overrun. Oh, looks like we got some in the stairwell here. Let's upgrade these blocks. A couple right here. A couple more down there. All right. Not sure if these are the only ones, but we'll work our way down and see. Now there's another one coming. So long, lady. All right, let's get down there. Can repair this block right here. They knocked one out right here. We'll repair that another day because that lady's body is in our way anyway. Let's uh, go this way. We should be able to jump to this platform. And there's a backpack. Nice. Vitamin and a glass jar. And these zombies are not going for the steps. That's kind of interesting. I mean, 
A horde of zombies might behave different than just two, but still, they're not going for the steps. That's something to definitely note. Oh, look. They did some damage to my steps. Shit. That's what we should do. We should bring in a horde of zombies and stand at the steps and just let them fucking destroy them. Do all of our work for us. There we go. And that's it. Let's go ahead and hop down here. We don't have much time until nightfall, but I would like to spend that time working on these steps. We should probably go repair or replace our door first. You hear something? Oh shit. Alright, well, we'll take it easy for a little bit while it's quiet. I don't want to stir anything up. Got to go through our inventory tonight. I did put a sell chest over by the door, and I've got a bunch of stuff that I'd like to sell, but of course we haven't found the trader yet. We haven't ventured out far at all from our home. Maybe that's something we'll do tomorrow. We'll see. Tomorrow is horde night, so uh, we'll want to be... Um, here to do a bunch of work and make sure we're prepared and ready for that. Uh, even though it is only night five, I'm sure it won't be a very big deal. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to um, go through all this shit tonight, like I said, get it organized. Might have to cook some of that corn. Um, we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I'll go ahead and get this uh, these frames upgraded the ones that I didn't get a chance to do and uh, we'll pick things up here on the morning of day five guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more thank you so much for watching and all of the support it really does mean a lot you guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter it's at Glock 9 Gamer I follow all gamers back stick around for more city life and more one-shot kill and I will catch you guys in the next episode